What's going on YouTube? You know, I just got home. Just a little tired. But um I was um coming home and I seen a clip from CNN with Dave Chappelle. You know, he was doing this new comedy stand up act. And um he brought up a social issue. You know, you know Dave Chappelle, he's funny, so he's gonna put a funny spin on it, but it is a serious topic. And it's something that we all should think about, especially when we're following politicians. You know, my new thing now is I want everyone to understand that politicians are going to tell you anything that they think you want to hear. And they're going to play on your fears the most in order to get you to vote for them. And that's what today's politicians are all into, playing on your fears. It's not about policy anymore. It's all about fears, trying to scare you, trying to show you trying to tell you there's a boogeyman out here that's going to attack you if you don't vote for them. Now, the reason why I'm saying all of this is because what Dave Spill was talking about in his stand-up routine was the Capitol riots. And the point he was bringing up was those same that same group of people that went into that building are Trump supporters, and they are the same group of people who so-called love the American flag. They're the same group of people who also said that they back the blue, which is police officers. That same type of, same group of people. Just understand that now. Now, a couple of years back, three years back, or four years back, when Kaepernick was going through what he was going through, that same group of people was demonizing him for kneeling during the national anthem. They were saying that he was unpatriotic. They were saying that he didn't love this country. They were saying that he disrespected that flag because he took a knee. The only thing he did was took a knee. He wasn't violent. He wasn't irate. He took a knee. Now, let me go come back to 2021, January 6, 2021. And let me point out some things. The same thing that Dave pointed out, I'm going to point out to you. What happened? They went into the Capitol building and they took a flag, an American flag with a pole on it, and they beat a police officer with that flag. The same group of people who was demonizing and calling Kaepernick unpatriotic because he took a knee, they took the American flag and beat a police officer. Just imagine the two things that they said they loved the most, the American flag and a police officer. And they disrespected both of them. Now, with that said, how many politicians have you heard speak out against that group of people who took that flag and beat that police officer with it? How many? Not too many. Because it's a game. And they use the American people as pawns in this game. Now, they took Kaepernick and demonized him. And they, de and they demonized him. All because they was playing to this fringe on the right. They wanted that vote. They wanted people to think that they were so patriotic that they loved that flag. They wanted people to understand, they wanted people to think that they loved the police officers. But they don't. And they prove how much they love that flag and how much they love a police officer. Because they disrespected both of them on January 6th of 2021. Also, one other thing. How many police unions have you heard come out against what happened on January 6th? When you had one police officer killed and you had over 100 injured. Have you heard anything from the police unions? You haven't heard anything. Not a 
word from any police union supporting the Capitol Police Department. You know why? Because it's all a game. It's all to scare you. They don't love police officers and they don't love that flag. American people need to wake up and understand we are nothing but a pun in this game. Don't be afraid of the boogeyman when they tell you he's coming. You know why? Because there is no boogeyman. Nothing but scare tactics. That's it. So I salute you all. Y'all have a good night.